Welcome to my video where I will demonstrate how to unlock pin protected lock screen Android device. This video is about the possibilities, about the options, how to unlock such a smartphone. We will focus only on Android pin, not iPhones, and we will cover mainly pin and not a pattern or a passcode protected device. This video is a result of my research, how to unlock such smartphone using various techniques. Uh, I've been posting on my social media and I received dozens if not hundreds of requests to create such tutorial how this can be done on your locked smartphone. Also, there is no 100% guarantee technique that would unlock your protected Android. What is the purpose? Well, you forgot your PIN. You found your old smartphone and you would like to retrieve data that are stored but you don't recall the, the PIN code someone in your family deceased someone close to you your friend and still you would like to retrieve the photos the videos the memories this is also one of the popular requests i've been receiving on my social and last not least is for forensic analysis you need to unlock a smartphone to retrieve the data this is only for educational purposes don't try to get inside unlock smartphone without explicit permission of its owner now let's continue with the possibilities how to unlock such protected smartphone. There are a few. The first one using an exploit. Exploit that bypasses lock screen protection or escalates privileges to root. Then using trial and error, which could be automated into a brute force. And the last one, if you don't care about the data, you can factor reset from recovery. There are not many options, not many possibilities. So the only one that we will focus in this video is a brute force. Of course, using brute force has its limitation. Actually, there are two to my knowledge. The first one is a timeout. There is no way to bypass timeout without exploit. What does it mean? After five wrong pin attempts, there is 30 seconds cooldown, another five wrong, another 30 seconds. And then after each wrong pin, there is 30 seconds cooldown. Until you reach 41 attempts, then there's 60 second cooldown after each wrong pin. These timeouts are for stock Android, at least to my knowledge. If you are using a custom UI, custom MIUI, then there might be some differences. If we put this in actual numbers, how long it would take to unlock um, a different pin protection. If you have four digits pin, it means there are 10,000 of possible combinations. It would take to go through all of them using the script I will shortly introduced 167 hours which is approximately seven days. and by increasing number of digits the time spent on cracking exponentially increases so if you use eight digit pin code it would take 190 years second limitation is factory reset this is not set by default it needs to be set by a user from setting uh, it means that after 15 wrong attempts the device will erase all the data so there are two limitations again timeout and the factory reset let's focus on the brute force brute force can be performed using two options the first one is using adb where usb debugging needs to be enabled and the second one using hid human interface device a rubber ducky let's start with adb what are the requirements? Smartphone needs to have enabled USB debugging in option. The smartphone that we want to crack or brute force the pin needs to be authorized by connected computer or another Android. The problem is that if we receive smartphone that is already locked, there is no way to enable USB debugging and authorize smartphone. Because of that, I believe this technique is not really useful. Still, I will show you one tool, vBrouter, that is available on uh, GitHub. All the links will be posted in the video description. Still, using ADB, there is no way how to bypass timeouts, except for one Android version, which is Android 8.0. There was introduced a new feature that it was possible to change um, pin, pattern, or password of the lock screen using new ADB command. And that feature contained a bug, which would result in bypassing timeouts, but only for Android 8.0. I tested that for uh, Android 8.1, 8.0 and 10, and this feature or this bug is not present anymore. I prepared a quick demonstration. I have two smartphones. 
This is the main one that will perform the brute force. I'm using OTG cable. This is Android 8.0. I will unlock the smartphone using my pin 0026 and I will start the V brooter on my Android. It means that it goes through all the pin combinations starting from 0000 until it reaches 0026. There are no throttles on the pin. You see the errors. This means that there should be timeout cooldown, but that was the problem in, in here. It was not implemented correctly. Because of that, we can unlock our smartphone by using all the combinations in a short time period. Still, other versions of Android are not supported and you still need to have USB debugging enabled. Because of that, I believe this is obsolete. We will focus on HID using either Rubber Ducky or Android. What does it mean? HID, human interface device, it means that connected smartphone or USB to a targeted device that is locked and pin protected behaves as a keyboard and this keyboard will send exact keys and these keys are actually pin codes. There is no need to enable USB debugging or device being root since if you connect the keyboard to your device, to your tablet or smartphone, it will work. Requirements for this technique is either have a rooted Android smartphone that has enabled HID or a rubber ducky USB. How to enable HID for your Android? I prepared already two videos that are available on my YouTube channel. Then we need OTG cable that is connected to our main and targeted smartphone. For HID brute force, we will use Android Pin and Brute Force tool that is available on GitHub. It's for free and super handy. It has a lot of pros and cons. For example, you can test various pins from length of digit from length one to ten. It uses optimized pin list for four, five, and six digits pins. This is based on the most popular top pins being used based on the statistics. Detects all the timeouts. And if you unplug your smartphone since if you're trying to crack the pin it will take a lot of hours and you need to recharge your device if you unplug charge the smartphone plug back in and continues where it stopped there's one problem since it's hid connected keyboard in this case it cannot receive any events from a smartphone so it doesn't know when the pin uh, was correct or not so it would still continue guessing and uh, entering other pins in the row in the list because of that uh, we need to manually grab the attempt from the logs and compare it with a pin uh, that is in a pin list I'll demonstrate that later on how to install the tool get clone change mode for execution and just trigger it there are various options when you try to create the four length pin this is the command after you get clone it's necessary to edit config file that contains in one of the last lines HID keyboard um, a global value that has the path to HID binary for a keyboard this needs to be replaced for yours and here's a quick example main smartphone executes this script where we try to guess the pin with four digits and after five attempts there is a timeout and the script waits until timeout is done. I also prepared a longer demonstration on this topic where I will perform guessing a more sophisticated pin. Actually, it will, it will went through 44 pins. First five attempts, timeout, another five attempts, timeout. And until we reach attempt 41, it would increase to 60 seconds. Until right now, we will guess the correct pin. And as you can see, there is no lock of the correct pin. We only see that there was attempt number 45. And based on this attempt, number of attempt, we will we have to search the pin in the list of optimized pins. And we also see the time, how long it took. In this case, it was around 25 minutes. How to prevent this scenario? If you believe you might be a target, use longer pins, either six to eight digits. And as you saw, it will take years to crack that. Also don't use easy to guess pin codes. 
or you can also switch to passwords. One more option, sad factor reset after 15 wrong attempts. I don't use this technique because if you have a kit in your home, it might not end up really well for you. We're heading to conclusion. When you have a locked smartphone, there are not many possibilities how to unlock such smartphone. You need to either have a exploit or you have to brute force the pin. There's no other option. This technique was only against pin. No password, since password might be more complex. You would need a word list. Tracking pattern is not that simple because our script needs to be customized for various displays and needs to perform clicks and swipes at particular parts of the screen. Also, if you use password, uh, it's much more secure. Using brute force, it's a long lasting operation, but there is no other option how to unlock such protected smartphone. Because of that, you need to be really patient. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you never need to use this technique. Bye guys.